Wine Wednesday. Yeah, Marcy Jones is live at Treva in West Hartford Center to try them out for us. Hi, Marcy. Hi there. Good morning. Happy Wine Wednesday. I'm here with my friend Will at Treva. We're so excited. We're talking about Ferrari sparkling wine. We went over a little bit of the history of it, which I love, but it's got a future in mixing, right? So we like to mix it with stuff. Why? Uh, Ferrari Brew is the perfect thing to mix with just because, like we touched on in the earlier segment, it's dry, super dry, meaning it's not sweet at all. So if you're going to be adding something to it, you want something with a little less sugar content, okay. especially for what we're going to be making. Um, you know, what's that? We're going to be making a peach bellini, okay. white peach bellini. Love. It's also super easy to make at home, and it's the perfect kind of brunch cocktail. Yeah. As opposed to the same old, same old mimosa. Yeah, you know. those get tired. A, a classic never dies, so it will always be around, but we like to mix it up a little bit, right? And it's exactly, and it's a little anticlimactic because I'll be honest, you just a little bit of the Ferrari Brut. Okay. A little bit of pre made peach puree. We use a little white peach. We're not going to pick the peaches? We're not going to pick well. the peaches, unfortunately. Oh. I went down straight to Georgia with Justin Bieber <laughs> to get it myself earlier, though. Perfect. Wow. So I, I added a little too much, so it's going to foam. No, Give I it a love second. It. This but is a good country. If you want to make court. it at home, just take a little peach. Throw it in the blender, add a little sugar, a little water, okay. and you're good to go. Excellent. Nice and easy, yeah. Could you do that with any fruit? You could, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, you know, depending on the fruit, you're going to wow. want to Wow, I thought fruits, this was but... segment all about wine, but really, you're getting a ton nah, of nah. tips. So much fruit. So much better. All right, I'm going to try this out. Give it a whirl. Delish. Isn't that good? The perfect balance, too. You get the sweetness, you get the dryness from the Ferrari. Exactly. And the next thing Love we're going to make real quick is uh, something that's actually on our cocktail list. It's called the Rossini. Okay. So a little bit of homemade strawberry puree. Boom, just a little bit, because like I said, it's already a little sweet. Yep. Take a uh, top that with some Ferrari. Boom. And then we actually use a fruit liqueur, strawberry liqueur made by Fruitful. Okay. It's actually pretty cool. It's a local company based right out of Glastonbury, Connecticut. Homegrown by some uh, local Connecticut guys as well. So definitely give them a, a look up if you're ever looking we for something. We love that. We love a little dash of that. local companies. And then oh. we'll top it off a little <gasps> more. more? Got, yeah, why not? More yeah. is more. Yeah. I love that. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Oh, so good. Not bad. It's the kind of yeah, cocktail. so good. It's perfect for brunch. It's good for a night out with the girls. Tastes like a sparkling, yeah. melted, really good strawberry daiquiri. Exactly. Yep. Yes. Perfect. I nailed it. Of bubbles. <laughs> and obviously, you know, like I said earlier, and I kind of repeat myself now, but take this, do a little mimosa if you wanted to with some orange juice. The key to that is fresh OJ. Right. You know, God bless Tropicana. Got me through my childhood. But yes. if you're going to be doing it at home, take the time, cut some oranges, blend it up yourself, make your mimosa fresh. I love fresh. it. Now, when you're trying different sparkling wines, you know, because everybody has a different palate, and sure. sometimes, unfortunately, people will have an experience with one brand or one type and say, hey, I never want to try that again. Yeah. If you're talking to somebody who's a little hesitant, a little nervous to try out some type of region or some type of wine, what's your best advice for finding what you like? Don't be shy. Chances, be are, shy. Ch chances are, if you don't like it, it's because your bad experience was from the next morning, not while you were sipping it. Yeah, you probably so, weren't at Trevor. Exactly. That's where you went wrong, right? Exactly. So <laughs> if you didn't like it, chances are it's because you had 10 of them. Maybe okay. stick to the two and then take it from there. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Drink responsibly. That's amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys always have really cool things going on yeah. here. You have events coming up. I know that you've got a uh, lot of things in the works that maybe we can't really talk about yet. But give um, us a little, give us a little nugget of something that's happening. Um, I mean, not to give away too much, but I'll definitely keep your eye on some possible Weathersfield and Newington locations coming up. Okay. Always keep an eye on the Doro Marketplace uh, websites yep. for what's coming up soon. And you know, we might be. Uh, Doing a little Mexican in Weathersfield and maybe a little Italian in Newington, but you'll have well, to stay But who knows? who knows? Who knows where this could take us, exactly. especially after we finish these four bottles, which I heard we're supposed to on Wine Wednesday. You know, like nothing goes to waste. No wine left behind, as I like to say. The brainstorm starts as soon as the camera goes off. Absolutely. All right. I don't like to drink alone. Well, grab your glass. Okay. Cheers. Start your engines, even though it has nothing to do nothing with Ferrari the car. <laughs> Sounds Thank good. It sounds it good. Does sound it sounds good. good. Yeah. If people want to come visit you at Trevo, what's the best way for them to get the hours, information, all that good stuff? Go to trevorct.com to check out our website, make reservations on Resi, or just give us a call and we'll do whatever we can to get Perfect. you in. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, guys, happy Wine Wednesday. Thank you.